Democratic living is based on mutual respect. Hi, welcome to Bilingual Family TV, the place to be if you want to create meaningful relationships with your children while learning Spanish. Today, we will continue on our discussion of Children the Challenge by Rudolf Dreikers, and today's chapter is Show Respect for the Child. Let's see what Rudolf has to say about this. A child cannot respect himself when his whole life is directed into serving his parents' desire for his greatness. This is, we see this all the time. We see children who are not conf even confident in themselves because they're so afraid that they're going to fail and not impress their parents. So it's important to respect the efforts of the child and, um, and really respect him for who he is rather than what he is capable of doing. Okay, here he says something else. Humiliating a child for any reason whatsoever shows intense lack of respect and is certainly not a training device. He uses training, the word training, a lot, and I don't like it. So I would change it to um, humiliating a child for any reason whatsoever shows intense lack of respect and it's certainly not an education device because I think when he talks about training, he really talks about preparing children for life. And so if, if your own parents don't have respect for you, it's going to be really hard for you to have respect for the environment and for just people around you when you grow up. So I like that quote. Okay, here's another one. Everyone in the family has a different role to play, and each has the right to be respected in that role. Here are some ways that you can show respect to your child. One way is to involve him in everyday decisions that are made at home. Obviously, you want to focus on decisions that are at their level of development, and that goes back to understanding your child and understanding their development. But for example, if you are going to go grocery shopping, involve them in the process, involve them in the process of uh, meal planning. So you can give choices of you know, what we're gonna have for dinner and they can, they can choose, maybe they can even help with the meal preparation. But that just shows them that they are part of the family, that they are part of the community or if you're in the classroom it would be part of the classroom community one way that we do this at bilingual family is that we allow children to vote on the materials that we have available so each day when we have our meeting we have a material in a suitcase and we open up the suitcase we look at the material we talk about the possible ways of using this material and then each of each child has the option not everyone has to vote each child has the option of voting and we've those options have grown we used to have I like it uh, and I don't like it those were the two options and then someone said well what if you kind of like it so we added that and now we have many options but the bottom line is that if enough children in the classroom don't like that material, then we take it out. Because that the classroom is set up for the children. So the children should take a ma should have a major role in deciding what is in it, what is in the classroom. So if you can figure out ways of making children part of the decisions that are made in the home, um, it just shows them that you respect them, that you respect their opinion, and that they are members of the family. Here is a tip about showing respect to language learners. Okay, so all my students at Bilingual Family are language learners. They are learning Spanish as a second language. And something that we have to understand about language learners is that they go through a long period, depending on how much input they're receiving in the target language, they go through a long period of silence. It's called a silent period. And this period 
it, they are simply absorbing the information. And so we have to value that and respect that. Um, another way of respecting the child as a language learner is to allow the time, allow there to be time and not pressure them into speaking. Because the truth is, and research shows this, that when there's pressure and there's stress, we our language learning is almost blocked because we're so worried about saying the right thing that we're, we're not able to absorb the language and produce the language as well. So those are just some tips for respecting language learners. I hope that you found this helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone that would benefit from this video, share it with them and subscribe to our channel for even more videos. Adios!